Each figure is life-size and each one different. They represent one of the greatest archaeological finds of all time. They're located near this mountain in central China, about 800 miles south of Peking. The story began in March of 1974, when peasants, digging a well, uncovered signs of a building which originally housed the figures. Beneath their feet lay a national treasure, buried there since 200 B.C. A structure now covers the site, protecting the figures and the scientists engaged in unearthing them. The troops are grouped in battle formation. They face the east and are led by a vanguard of 210 soldiers. The army is laid out in 36 columns of infantry, led by horses and chariots of war. Historians believe that as many as 700,000 slaves may have been used in the project. The quality of the work suggests that they must have been supervised by master artists, perhaps the greatest assembly of artists in history. Armor plate made of bronze is caught in detail, down to the rivets holding it together. Hairstyles are rendered in intimate detail. Here a belt buckle from an officer's uniform. Some figures still bear indications of the fact that lifelike color was added by the artists. And here is a modern artist's rendition of the fully colored figures as they must have appeared at the time. The army was also provided with weapons, a task that must have kept ancient metal workers busy for years. They fashioned arrows and swords of bronze, a halberd, half battle axe, half spear. All the weapons show a very advanced understanding of metallurgy for that day. Horses were a vital factor in military power and were rendered in great detail. Many were provided bridles and reins fashioned in bronze. Today, the work continues with visitors invited to watch the restoration of this 2,200-year-old army on the march. The Qin Dynasty survived for only 15 years but it gave us the Great Wall and the Terracotta Army, lasting memorials to the energy and creativity of the Chinese people.